Hello, and welcome to the Diamond Select Toys 2023 Showcase. I'm DST Zach, and I'll be your host as we take a look at the amazing toys and collectibles coming out from DST this year and beyond. This video is specifically about Star Wars products, but stay tuned for info about our entertainment and Marvel showcases. And now I'd like to turn it over to product manager Dev Gilmore. Hey, thanks for that. I'm Dev Gilmore, and I'm here to walk you through some of our cool Star Wars product. Here we have Darth Vader, one of our premier statues, standing in a field of fire and over 10 inches tall. Vader's left hand is extended in a force choke position, and he has his lightsaber extended at his side. A compliment piece to the Darth Vader, this is Obi-Wan Kenobi. Standing behind the wall of fire casting clear resin, Obi-Wan is ready for battle with extended lightsaber and authentic Jedi robe attire. Here we have another 1 7 scale premier statue. This is the Grand Inquisitor. Both blades are extended on the circular hilt of his lightsaber, and he stands flanked next to a stalagmite base. Also from the Obi-Wan limited series, this version of Darth Vader is part of our 1 6 line of mini busts, with his left hand extended in a force choke. Also 1 6 scale, here's Obi-Wan Kenobi, seen here wearing his loose fitting garments in the robe from early in the show. To go along with Obi-Wan and Darth Vader, here's the Grand Inquisitor. Most notable in this piece is the blurred blades from his circular lightsaber hilt. He has a stern expression, staring down one of his adversaries. Next is the mysterious Wookiee, Kersantan. Kersantan is ready for action with his knuckle dusters and spiked armor. And from the Book of Boba Fett, we have one of Boba Fett's Gamorrean bodyguards, faithful and loyal, weathered leather accents and steel shoulder plates at the ready to defend Boba Fett. Here's Boba Fett, a one six scale milestone statue, as we saw him in the Mandalorian when he dons his distressed weathered armor. He holds a Tusken Raider gaffy stick in his left hand and his trusty blaster in his right. Note the finely detailed Mythosaur emblem on his left shoulder. From our line of Legends in Three Dimensions, at half scale, this is Bo-Katan. Her weathered Mandalorian armor is chipped and dinged from battle with a finely detailed Night Owl emblem on the crown of her helmet. Another one of our 1 6 mini busts is Paz Vizsla. Paz Vizsla brings the Mandalorian muscle. He's carrying a heavy repeating blaster with bullet belt that feeds from his yellow backpack. Also from the Mandalorian is Koska Reeves. This Mandalorian Night Owl is 1 6 scale, has her jetpack and heavily distressed armor. Koska Reeves comes with an alternate head with her helmet off and an excellent portrait likeness. From season one of The Mandalorian, we have an off-world Jawa. Holding the mudhorn egg above his head, his robes are an off-gray, and his eyes are light-up LEDs. For our Premier Guild members, there is a holiday version with a gift-wrapped mudhorn egg. And for our retro jumbo figure collectors, we have Ahsoka Tano. Ahsoka is a Kenner styled retro figure standing at about 12 inches tall. She has both of her lightsabers and has that just perfect retro feel. And now let's move into some feature film stuff, starting with Kit Fisto. From Attack of the Clones, Kit Fisto is one of our 1 7th premier scale statues. Fisto is in an action pose and the base is reminiscent of the Geonosis Arena. Sold separately, but pairing well together, here's Chewbacca and Han Solo. Pilot and co-pilot of the Millennium Falcon are seen here, sculpted in a famous publicity still from the original Star Wars. Stepping out of the Millennium Falcon and standing on a Death Star themed base, here's Chewbacca with his bowcaster ready, finely detailed hairs, leather accents, and low slung bandolier. Han has his classic black vest on, detailed leather holster, and DL-44 blaster.
from the original trilogy comes Yoda, here at 1-6 scale, another one of our milestone statues. Yoda's perched on a log, sitting over a clear cast resin swamp and a Dagobah-themed base. From A New Hope and expanding on our line of jumbo figures is a Sand Trooper. This version has the white pauldron, heavy backpack, and heavy repeating blaster. Standing at 12 inches and in a cloud city environment comes Lando Calrissian, the dashing hero that saves the day in Empire Strikes Back. Lando has his classic blue cape with interior details and an E-11 blaster. For our premier guild, Lando also comes with an alternate DH-17 blaster. Another 1-6 sale piece, Admiral Akbar. Seen here with his data pad in his left hand, inspecting his Death Star plans, Akbar comes with two alternate right arms, one Director's Scepter and one DH-17 Rebel Blaster. And from Return of the Jedi, we have Princess Leia disguised as Boosh. Seen on her Tatooine base with a thermal detonator in her hand, the statue's Princess Leia likeness also comes with an alternate right arm to hold her helmet at her side. This half-scale Gamorrean guard is massive. This finely sculpted armor and leather feels real. His protruding teeth and menacing glare give him a lifelike appearance. Let's look at some mini busts from the Clone Wars and Rebels, starting with one-sixth scale. Here's Savage Oppress. This is a realistic interpretation with heightened details and features. Shoulder plates appear like real metal with realistic face tattoos and an evil glare staring down his adversary. Another realistic interpretation at 1-6 scale is Ahsoka Tano, seen here with her staff and Morai Owl on her shoulder. The exclusive version comes with the frozen Ahsoka Trooper helmet. Also at 1-6 scale, it's Ezra Bridger. This realistic version of Ezra features a green lightsaber, an orange jumpsuit, leather accents on the belt, and forearms. And here's everyone's favorite rebel, Zeb. Cracking his knuckles and ready to break some heads. Zeb's blaster is strapped across his back, and there are fine details of the shark head on his left shoulder. Continuing on to our one-seventh line of animated mini-busts, here's Mace Windu. Mace Windu stares down his adversary with his purple, unique lightsaber. Mace is perfectly balanced on a black, ornate base. Next, we have Queen Amidala. This piece is finely detailed and well-painted. Shades of green accent her robes and royal headdress. And now we have Cad Bane, one of the vilest bounty hunters in the galaxy. Cad's hat and jacket are detailed and weathered. Forearm armor has accents of heavy use. Every detail is captured all the way down to his fingerless gloves. Next we have Sabine Wren. Her ornate hand-painted armor really defines this piece. From checkered shoulder pad to emblazoned Rebel Alliance logo tagged on the base. Sabine features an interchangeable head with her ever-changing blue and aquamarine hair. Sabine also features an alternate left hand. Coming from Star Wars, the Old Republic, here's Bastia Shan. Bastia Shan is a 9-inch figure at 1 8 scale, part of our PDC gallery collection with dynamic base, double-edged blade, and explosive clear accents. This next jumbo is Triple Zero, taken from the comic book pages of Dr. Aphra. Triple Zero is the torture droid that comes along for the ride. Every finger on Triple Zero's hand is a torture device, well detailed and sculpted. Inspired by the original script and original concept art for the Star Wars film, this very different imagining of Han Solo equips him with a lightsaber and blaster. 
From Return of the Jedi, here's a Gentle Giant LTD web exclusive. Brief Up the Ewok is celebrating the Rebel victory and the liberation of Endor by using a couple trooper helmets as makeshift drums. This one sixth scale statue stands about eight inches from base to head that features sculpted wood grain posts and even a small bird's head skull resting on the base. Brandishing his ceremonial staff accompanied by his pet iguana, Chief Chirpa leads the attack on the Empire and the seven inch resin statue. From Star Wars A New Hope and one of the fan favorite cantina creatures, here's Ellers Matic. Ellers features a pearlescent flight suit and a blue milk drink in his left hand. Speaking of hands, Ellers comes with an alternate set as seen in the film. Ellers will be a Gentle Giant LTD website exclusive. Based on original concept art, this mini bust depicts the original female appearance of Starkiller Hero, featuring leather body armor, blaster in her right hand, and a lightsaber in her other. There's more than this on the horizon, so check out GeneralGiantLTD.com or previews for more information. Well, that about does it for DST's 2023 Star Wars Showcase. Be sure to check out our other FanFest 2023 videos showcasing our Marvel items and our entertainment offerings. And tune in for our live Q&A. See the schedule below for full details. And be sure to keep an eye out for our 2023 FanFest exclusive, which will only be available through DiamondSelectToys.com and GentleGiantLTD.com. For the most up-to-date information on all things DST, be sure to follow us on all social media at CollectDST or visit DiamondSelectToys.com.